This video will address stellar evolution, the change of a star throughout its lifetime. In summary, low mass stars form from a molecular cloud, burn through their fuel slowly as a red or yellow dwarf. When they run low on fuel, they turn into a red giant, which then ends up as a planetary nebula with a white dwarf stellar remnant at its core. High mass stars also form from molecular clouds, burn through their fuel wastefully as a blue giant. When they run low on their fuel, they expand into a red giant, which then explodes as a supernova, leaving behind either a neutron star or a stellar black hole at its core. We deduce this life cycle from our observation through the HR diagram, our understanding of hydrostatic equilibrium, as well as nuclear fusion. Interstellar clouds are made mostly of hydrogen and helium and small amounts of other elements. As they collapse under gravity, their core heats up until it becomes hot and dense enough for hydrogen fusion to commence. This starts the main sequence part of the life of the star. It is now in hydrostatic equilibrium and is fueled by hydrogen fusing into helium at its core. Massive stars need greater power to maintain hydrostatic equilibrium against their greater gravity. They burn hydrogen more wastefully. Hence, they end their main sequence life earlier. As the fuel runs low, the core starts to shrink and heat up and hydrogen burning moves to higher layers. This expands the outer layers into a red giant. The subsequent evolution depends on the mass of the star. For low mass stars, like our sun, Helium ignites and starts to combine into carbon. Once the carbon also runs out, the core collapses into a white dwarf and the outer layers are thrown off as what is referred to as a planetary nebula, which is not actually related to planets. It is merely a namesake. For stars much more massive than our Sun, their cores can contract even more and attain higher temperatures for further fusion of carbon into heavier elements. 
Iron is the final element of stellar nucleosynthesis. It cannot be fused and produce energy. Once iron accumulates at the core, it collapses. The energy released will rip apart most of the star in a supernova. The core will collapse into a neutron star or a black hole. The explosion will also release heavy elements that can be recycled into further stellar and planetary formation. Please review stellar evolution in terms of hydrostatic equilibrium and nuclear fusion for low mass stars and how they are different for high mass stars. We will explain stellar remnants in a different video.